What convinced you, sir, during mediation that your girlfriend had accidentally bought the plaintiff's bike? I wonder uh, what it is that convinced you. That's what you wrote. He had with. pictures of the bike, um, things like repairs he'd done to it, the light on it that uh, had been mentioned. And what about the VIN number? Didn't it didn't match, is what the sheriff had said, but... No, no, don't tell me what the sheriff had said. Okay. Don't tell me what, because I don't know what the sheriff... The didn't match the I don't... one he gave. Just a second. Is what you're telling me, Mr. Soul, that the VIN number of the bike that is currently now in the plaintiff's possession... Correct. ...is not the VIN number that's on the title? Is that what you're telling me? You, is that what you want me to believe? Is what you want me to believe, Mr. Soul? Don't put your hand up is what you want me to believe, Mr. Soul, that the VIN number on the bike that you gave back to the plaintiff has a different VIN number than this title? No. It has the same VIN number? I believe so. I've yes. never seen the bike. Well, but I, would I mean, you're, it is. you're not yeah. an idiot, are you? So you take a look at the title, you brought the bike over, you gave him the bike, or he came over and you gave him the bike, right. and uh, mm -mm. anybody but an idiot would say, listen, I see your title. I want to look and see if this VIN number is the same that's on your title before I turn over this bike that I paid $400 for and put some money in to repair it. So, unless you're a fool, you did that. I guess I was a fool by just returning it without seeing the title. Correct. He had said that it was lost. He was attempting to get a copy of it. And based on the circumstances... Does the bike that you have in your possession have the same VIN number as this? It does, and there's a picture, Your Honor, attached to that, uh, beneath that title, if oh. you'll see. I took the picture when I received the bike. It is a little bit of a convoluted story. Listen, I don't deal with convoluted stories. I deal with easy stories. Well, I've got an easy story no, for No, you, no, no, there's no easy story. This is an easy story. You got the bike back, and it is the same VIN number. Do you want to see? Correct. You want to see? I believe you. Okay, good. What do you want to say? What, what he do you filed for a lost title after he received the bike. When I, when the cop, when the sheriffs have came to the store, the number that they had, there was no title. He had no title. He, I, they gave him a number that did not match the sheriff's ticket on his where he had wrote down the notes to what was on the bike did not match. Right, sit. Okay. Your Honor, I have a copy of the. <laughs> Just a second. Listen to me. It's very simple. They bought a stolen bike from Mario. Now I don't know whether Mario stole the bike. I don't know who stole the bike. Right now, you got the bike back. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the bike was stolen from your home sometime in October of 2017. Yes. Unless you have proof to the contrary. Listen to me very carefully. You're not listening to my question. You want to tell a whole long story, and I'm not interested in it. Unless you can prove to me that Mr. Soul and or his girlfriend purchased this bike at some time other than April of 2018, as they say they did, you got your bike back. I can prove to you right now, and if you take that, a look at this. No, tell me what it is. It is a uh, picture that I took, my son took, uh, on my front lawn. I have the metadata of the picture showing that I had it in my possession on July 23rd, 2017, with a location. It's amazing that he has a receipt that is dated several months before the bike was stolen. And he handed me a receipt. Just a second, you said the bike was stolen in October... Of 2017. 17. And I have a picture of the motorcycle but in July. But he sa they're saying they purchased the motorcycle in April of 2017. No, not I thought they said April 2018. 2018. 2018. That's impossible because I, I, I had the police come out there in March. It says it on the police report. Oh, may I see that? Yes. Oh, well, that's... And also, no, just this a is second. The, it becomes more interesting. This is a receipt. Shh, just a this second. Is, this just is a second. This is the police report. And, Your Honor, this is a receipt. You keep talking. You keep talking. Okay. Simple. You testified that you purchased the bike in April, mid-April. That's what you testified to. Okay. That's the, what the tape is, right? Now, you would agree, Mr. Soule, would you not? that if the police came out and looked at the bike in March at your house, then that would have been a lie that girlfriend Jessica told, right? <laughs>